Hello and welcome to another Marvel Super Heroes knockoff bootleg set. This is 8 packs of Deadpool. On the left there we have a normal Deadpool, that's a copy of original Deadpool from the actual Lego set, one side of the box. Or 8 figures from this set, one side shows the image of the figure with the accessory and on the back is the instruction sheet. We have a yellow Deadpool here, looks like uh, uh, crossover Deadpool with the Yellow Lantern from DC Comics. We have a uh, white Deadpool here. Yeah, it's instructions. We have a, uh, I think this is the Force Deadpool, some X Men Deadpool suit. We have a uh, grey suit. Side so look and the instructions. We have a uh, female Deadpool, Lady Deadpool. A color variant on their weird uh, Wolverine helmet, Wolverine, and the not Deadpool from the movie that doesn't exist anymore. So every one of these Deadpools comes with a sort of flying machine. Uh, all of them do build okay. Uh, the normal Deadpool comes with this thing here, and um, it's solid enough, and it looks just good enough to be a thing. So, uh, in that sense, it, it's it's okay, I, I guess. This is not completely useless. Um, we can almost see you combining all the parts for more eight figures, and you can probably build some sort of bigger machine, but as is right now, at least it's like a solid little ship aircraft thing. So, you have normal Deadpool here. i got two of these, and uh, both of them have actually really good print. The... Uh, <coughs> Inside the body is a bit different from official Lego, of course. The legs do have the bump on the peg on the hips when you plug the legs in. Uh, the hands are not a C shape, uh, which is weird because uh, one of the sets I reviewed previously from Shingon did turn into that C shape. So that, that was good that they did that, but um, I'm not sure why they haven't keep, kept doing that. And there is back print. Are you ready? Oh my god, what the hell is that? Um, if you wanted to build your own Red Hulk, here's a head for you. Uh, the back body print's fine, but uh, yeah, this face is totally unnecessary. Um, I'll probably remove that face at some point. But uh, that's not... yeah, that's just... <laughs> and yes, uh, every single one of these figures does have that uh, a weird face printed on the back, as you will see in a moment. Oh, and uh, he does have a, uh, all these do come with a little sword backpack. So, um, this little cross shaped sword backpack. Lady Deadpool comes with a ship that looks like this, looks like some sort of little um, pointy, looks like a bird almost, a bird like thing. And there's two guns on the back. Again, the build itself is pretty solid. There's Lady Deadpool, does look pretty good, and uh, at least the hair is uh, solid enough on this figure. I'm going to remove the hair on the second one just so you can see the back. And they have given the back a female face, but uh, again, hmm, really unnecessary. Especially when it's printed on a red plastic head, it doesn't quite make sense for them to do anything like that. Um, the Deadpool mask is also altered slightly to have some more feminine eyes, so that's kind of cool. Wolverine comes with a little craft, of course, with actual Wolverine claws uh, that they've copied. Uh, I remember when they first did the uh, Wolverine bootlegs, they had uh, the Shredder's claws because they just recently, uh, during that time, copied Ninja Turtle stuff. So they were like, oh, let's not do any more. But um, since then, there have been many sets where they actually did the Wolverine claws, and so they kept they kept doing that. So that's good. Uh, this this craft is also pretty solid for what it is. Just kind of boring. Um, mm. As for the Wolverine figure itself, it's got that weird, um, kind of weird mask that they use. Really, really oversized mask. Uh, a bit silly, to be honest. Still, it's nice to have a different colored Wolverine suit. When you remove the mask, you have a really creepy face underneath. Yeah, and the face on the back as well. Now, this face also fits the Wolverine mask. That the eyes fit into the holes and it just looks silly. That's why when uh, LEGO made their um, Batman mask and their Wolverine mask, they didn't do that. They didn't move the eyes up there uh, for effect. Next we have Yellow Lantern Deadpool with another one of these crafts. In fact, uh, a lot of these crafts are actually the same craft, just in different color variants to match the uh, figure that comes in the box. Uh, there he is. Now, of course, uh, this wasn't actually a thing. He comes with a sword pack, by the way. 
Uh, this is obviously copied from online fan drawings and stuff and it's quite popular uh, this yellow Deadpool and uh, it's got a really weird face on the back mm. yes I might notice that all of these Deadpools have a very similar back gear so they just again alter the colors and alter the logo just a little bit uh, to, to accommodate what's going on here so yeah yellow Deadpool pretty cool Grey Deadpool has the same thing as the Grey Deadpool ship, just in grey and black guns on the back. And he does have a uh, sword pack. And uh, yeah, uh, I, maybe this one's the X-Force one, because uh, that's the X-Men logo on it. Maybe different versions of him. I do like the little uh, pattern that goes down the mask, makes it more, more, more mask-like. And the back there is also pretty cool, just different logos again. Blue Deadpool comes with a, a newer, a new design here. We haven't seen any other figures, so uh, again, it's built okay. So it's actually got a seat, so you can be more comfortable. And he's got a golden sword pack, backpack. And the print itself is pretty good. I don't know really sure how clear you can see that, but there is actually a white eye printed there on the black area. Got a really, actually, yeah, an anime face on the back. Something uh, so. I wonder if any people are able to use that for something else. Hmm. But yeah, the print again is pretty sharp, print on the hips and the legs, so that's cool. Uh, I made a mistake saying this is Origins Deadpool. No, 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 this is just uh, Topless or Battle Damage Deadpool. Maybe you can say that because he's got, he's got a, a normal Deadpool legs with a strap on it. And uh, you can see he's got like a X-Men belt and thing going on, so... It's a bit of a combination of all the other suits, just damage and gun. And he's got this craft here, which is the same as the last one, just in the uh, dark red colouring. And of course he does have a uh, <clears throat> sword pack. And uh, there he is. Uh, now, the problem with this one is the suit is pretty good. Uh, the arm printing is also pretty good. Uh, pretty nice to have that. The leg printing is also good as well. The only problem here is, uh, well... Yeah, he just um, he actually has a movie design leg straps, by the way. It's just that both faces on this guy are completely crappy. Um, I don't like them at all. I think they're, they're really bad. Actually, the print on the leg is the same as the yellow Deadpool. But yeah, uh, very bad head prints. Um, gonna have to uh, replace that with something else. But the uh, the scars and the and the ugly body body print is, is pretty good on this guy. It definitely, definitely looks hideous. Finally we have White Deadpool here. We've got this uh, ship going on. me, And a uh, black sword pack of course to fit the white suit. And he's pretty cool. Now as a bonus here, uh, recently a another brand, it could be Pogo, I'm not sure. These were sold loose. Uh, just one-off sort of thing and there's another white Deadpool being sold you see they use the same print uh, the pack I got was missing an arm but uh, this white Deadpool actually has printed side legs um, print on the side of the legs we've got a gun there and printed arm as well now the arm details are pretty non important really I can easily paint that with a marker pen or something but you can see that they've copied pretty, uh, the same print from whatever online source uh, this other white Deadpool it does come with uh, two of these uh, Uzis and a uh, sword pack. Um, the sounds on the Uzi does not come off, by the way. So, so yeah, I'm not sure what to think about that. I, I like the the other bootleg. Does have a more Lego-like uh, body inside. Comes with a uh, four four by four plate. Uh, none, these ones don't. So uh, I'm not sure how to feel here. Um, the print quality on that other Deadpool is pretty good. I just don't really sure where it's from. If you know where this is from, please let me know. I'll let in the comments below so and other people know as well. And um, that, uh, so yeah, um, I think it's Pogo, but I can't confirm that. Now it's another bonus, the same uh, loose packet uh, uh, company I bought. I also got uh, a mo actual movie Deadpool here. You can see the legs, the feet are printed, the legs are printed, uh, body's printed pretty well. He has a squint eye, which is kind of cool, uh, just to have a slightly different looking you know, facial expression. Now, if this is the only movie like Deadpool to come out, obviously some people would just want their blank expression just to make it more usable in different situations. But um, I have um, 
I have no gripes using the other Deadpool heads for that uh, a normal expression. Side leg is printed. See the, uh, the the feet print carries on as well. Let me just get out the base. So arm um, print is pretty good. Back print is also pretty good. Now, if only they had back leg print, that would make this perfect. He also comes with the same two Uzi you saw from the extra white Deadpool a moment ago, as well as a sword pack, so he's pretty complete. Now, I will say that his clutch is a little iffy on this arm. It's not loose or anything, but um, it doesn't just drop down or anything, but uh, when I'm moving it, I can definitely feel like it's slightly more fragile, just less solid, less smooth than the uh, other figures from Xingyuan, or official LEGO figures. But yeah, but this is uh, a pretty decent movie, Deadpool. So there you go, there's eight packs of Deadpool. Hey, um, now someone, some bootleg needs to release uh, Mega Sonic Warhead, I think that's that her name, and uh, Colossus. It'd be good to have an actual sort of metallic colored arm Colossus. Uh, that'd be really good from one of the bootlegs because uh, we we do have metallic colored figures from before. It doesn't need to be chrome. I mean, and that would cost too much for them to produce uh, as a bootleg. But uh, just a metallic coloring would be really good. That's good enough for me. So Deku or Shinyuan, hurry up and uh, do that. That'd be great. And that that movie that pulled there is also really good. Again, I think that's Pogo brand. So you're gonna have to uh, confirm that with me uh, in the comments below, hopefully. This whole pack is pretty good. All the figures, Deadpool figures, are pretty nice. Now, I don't really care for these mini aircrafts and stuff. Uh, if you see any useful parts, then great, but um, I don't. Out of the two packs that I bought, one of the ships actually came with a wrong piece. It wasn't missing pieces, it had one that was wrong. And um, it was this one, the Lady Deadpool ship. Instead of uh, a little curved bit on top there, it came with instead two pieces of this grey piece here, which is a 1x2 plate with a stud in the middle. Uh, so I came with two of those instead of just one. So that's annoying but uh, hey it's a bootleg so what are you gonna do? So yeah, uh, the Wolverine I don't really care for too much. In fact, um, if they did put the Origins Weapon X thing in there uh, it would have been made a bit more sense. You have uh, you know Deadpool beating him up. Um, we're also missing a dog pool and a zombie Deadpool. So those are other things that could have been in there instead of this Wolverine. This, this Wolverine didn't really need to be there. Um, so yeah, uh, zombie Deadpool please, uh, dog pool please, and um, maybe, um, I don't know, uh, maybe we'll, we will get some more Deadpool stuff when Deadpool 2 comes out, which has been officially confirmed by Fox, so that's, that's something down the line in a few years, but as of right now, this is the, if you like Deadpool, and you think the Lego Deadpool's not enough, definitely pick up this set and have Deadpools. And uh, for your information, previously there was an elephant brand Iron Man suits, and one of them was a Deadpool Iron Man. And um, yeah, subscribe to Just and comment below, and guys, take care and have a nice day. Bye. By the way, uh, Shinyuan previously did release a Yellow Lantern Deadpool a while ago, and judging by this sort of comic book picture, I can say that the new one is far more accurate. And so, I'm sorry, I'm not keeping you. Whoops. I'm keeping you. Eh. I mean, the other one doesn't even have a correct mask look, so... Bye.